is, it's Hannah Hardy, your assistant children's pastor, and today I'm going to be bringing your Bible lesson. Before I begin, I just want to thank everyone for joining in on our Zoom call yesterday. Remember to join in on Saturdays at 2 or sometimes 4 to hang out with our Glow Kids family. Today, our Bible story will be coming from John 9. John 9 tells us that one day, Jesus was walking with his friends, and he saw a blind beggar sitting by the road. He decided to stop. Now, we are going to use our imaginations a little bit. I want you to close your eyes and pretend that you are blind. Next, Jesus did something really cool and really gross. Now, you might not think of Jesus doing something gross, but this was really gross. Jesus first scooped up some dirt from the road. Now, with your eyes still closed, I want you to pretend to scoop up some dirt with your hands. So let's scoop up some dirt. Then, Jesus spit into the dirt. Pretend to spit into the dirt. Gross! I told you to pretend to spit. Next, Jesus mixed his spit and the dirt to make mud. Then Jesus spread the dirt or the mud onto the blind man's eyes. Now take your pretend mud and spread it onto your eyes. Can you imagine how you would look with mud all over your eyes? People would probably think that you're a little weird. This is probably what the crowd thought when the blind man had mud all over his eyes. After Jesus put mud on the blind man's eyes, Jesus told him to go wash in the pool of Siloam. After the blind man washed his eyes, he was healed. Now, when I count to three, I want you to open your eyes. One, two, three. Wow! You were blind, but now you are healed. People were amazed at how this man, who was once blind, can now see. When Jesus healed this blind man, Jesus brought light into his life. He, brought, he put light into somebody's dark world. And later, the man asked Jesus into his heart, and he became a follower of Jesus. Jesus is the best light of all. We may not be able to heal someone, but we can still bring light into someone's life. We can shine God's love. We can show God's love and shine his light. You know, this blind man had been a beggar for a long time. People walked by him every day and never paid any attention to him. They never bothered to help him. Sometimes we're like those people. Just like my hands, sometimes we're so wrapped up in ourselves that we don't bother to help others. When is a time that you could have helped somebody but didn't? Sometimes we're scared. We're scared that if we help somebody, that people will make fun of us. And then sometimes, just like my hands, we're so wrapped up in ourselves that we don't think about anybody else. But it doesn't have to be this way. Just like Jesus did not walk past the blind man, he went out of his way to help him. And just like that, we can shine God's love and show, share God's love and shine his light into somebody's life. Now, you may say, we are in quarantine. If I don't see anybody, how can I shine God's light and share his love? There are many ways we can shine God's light. We can write an encouraging letter to somebody. We can call somebody just to check on them. And we can draw a picture just to encourage them, to make them smile. We can simply smile at somebody else. Second Samuel 22, 9 says, The Lord lights up my darkness. That is definitely true. And we can light up someone else's darkness, we can light up someone else's life by sharing the love of God and shining God's light. Let's pray. 
Dear Lord, we thank you for this day, God, and allowing us to just endure in your love, to share your love with others, God. Thank you for allowing us to shine your light and help us to remember that to not be so wrapped up in ourselves, God, but to help others and share your love and your light with others, God, just like Jesus did with this blind man, God. We love you, Lord, and please protect all of us and keep us safe. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Thank you for joining in on our Bible lesson today. I hope to see you soon. Bye.